Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you for being here. I appreciate you so much if you've come back and you've been watching my videos. Thank you so, so much. Thank you and welcome to all of my new subscribers. It makes me so excited every day when I see that someone else has joined my channel. I'm working on growing it and getting just bigger and bigger and every time I see someone new, I just get really excited. So thank you for being here. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. Join us here and you know watch my channel grow. I'm really excited and happy about that. I do mostly do Dollar Tree hauls. I have so many ideas that I want to film, but I just haven't, I guess film is an old word, huh? Because we don't use film anymore. Wow, showing my age. But I have so many things that I want to record. I have so many ideas in my head and currently just not enough time. You know, summer just started, school's let out. I got three kids. Most of the time I have some kids running around in my house. This is the front room of my house. So all the noise from the entire house shows up in here. So I am considering trying to find a different place to film where I can just like be away from the kids for a little bit or something. But finding time to film with all three kiddos in the house has proven to be a little bit difficult. Today though, I have a little bit of a break and no kids. And so I decided that I need to show this awesome stuff that I've gotten. Today, I have a small five below haul. I was able to run in and grab a few things and wander around because I love five below. And I also have some garage sale finds because I absolutely love garage sales. And I've done another garage sale haul in the past. I have another one um, over the past weekend. My husband and I did decide to go hit some garage sales. There was a ton of community garage sales all around us. And so it was just really fun to go look through other people's, what they call junk, but we call treasures because, you know, we pick it up and think it's a great deal. And so I have some of those to show. And so let me jump in and show you my five below haul first. Like I said, it's not a big one, but it's one that, you know, I'm excited about. So while there, I grabbed some bicycle helmets. Really excited about the price of $5. I feel like they cost so much. The kids grow out of them pretty fast. And so for $5, I think it's a really good deal. Our two youngest, Lorelai and Eric, are both getting some new bikes. Lorelai has some bikes without training wheels that we're working on with her. She's turning nine this summer. So it's, it's about time to try to get her to ride without the training wheels and her legs are too long for her little bike. And Eric got a bike for his birthday, so we decided to get him another helmet. To be honest, a helmet, because I don't know where any of his are. So I got him two helmets um, for the two kiddos. Braxton already has one. It's green. It matches his bike, so he didn't need a new one. So I got the two kiddos some helmets. My best friend, you know, I tell her that I love to go to Five Below, and so she said, hey, when you go, can you grab me some socks? And she even sent me a picture of what her favorite socks from Five Below are. So I did grab her a pair of, or a set of socks. It comes with five. And if you have a Five Below and if you haven't gone in, go in for socks. I mean, it's just such a good deal. These are so thick. They're so comfortable. I don't have these ones, but I have like the lower, the lower ones. And I love their socks. I think they're so comfortable and they're just squishy and good. And you get five pairs for five dollars. And they're just better socks than you get at the Dollar Tree for a dollar a pair. So they're just such a good deal. But I got this. They're all different colors in here. And Jen or Layla, if you're watching, leave me a comment below. Let me know that you saw this on my haul today. And Jen, I'll be getting this to you soon. All right. I found and picked up this shower speaker. It's supposed to work with Bluetooth. Um, I've looked at them a couple times, but then I saw this one. It has the palm leaves on it. And I love palm leaves if you've watched any of my stuff before. And so I thought that this would be really fun. I'm going to try to obviously connect it to my phone. Um, I'm not sure if I can connect it to YouTube, but I love to listen to true crime. And I'll probably get on some podcasts or something if I can't get it to connect just to YouTube because I like to listen to them. And I usually get pretty sad that I have to get into the shower and I have to like turn it off and I can't really hear it so well. So I'm going to try this out in the shower. Hopefully it works. I am going on a trip here very soon. So I found these two items. I just think they're so pretty. If you can see the texture in that, it's kind of got like the grooves and stuff, looks like diamonds. And this has that same kind of texture. We don't use bar soap, but I was thinking for this that I'll probably use it for some band-aids and like Neosporin, a little mini um, first aid kit to take with us on our trip. Cause you just never know, or your shoes start rubbing the wrong way or something like that. So all those little, things that you don't really think that you're gonna need, but sometimes you need. I'm gonna pop them in this, maybe a little sewing kit, just something to, to travel with because I just thought it was too pretty not to buy. And then this too, I have some other toothbrush holders, but if I find something else to use for this, I will. And if not, I mean, it can hold my toothbrush because it's really pretty. So I grab those. 
And then I've been wanting this mirror and I've eyeballed this mirror numerous times and I finally just decided to pick up this mirror. It is lighted, you need batteries for it. And I just think it's really pretty. I'm changing my room, it's a bright pink color now, going to a blush pink. So I keep picking up the little blush pink things that I like that I think will really match it as we start redecorating. And so I thought that this was perfect and I grabbed that. And lastly from Five Below, this was on their 50% off section. So it was $2 and 50 cents. It says, be the change. And so it's basically, it looks like a book of ideas on how to be the change, make different um, actions for the future, do some community service type stuff. My daughter Lorelai is actually joining a youth group that a big part of their, their motto, what they do is community service and do things for the community to be better. And so I thought this might be a good book for her to look through and bring some ideas on ways that they can do community service and be the change. And that's just, you know, some young girls out there just trying to create change. And I thought that this was really nice. All right, now let's move on to garage sale finds. And I am debating if I want to show you my favorite find first or last. So I just can't contain it. I'm going to go first. I am a huge Britney Spears fan. I'm wearing Britney today, actually, on my shirt. I was thinking about this haul, so I decided to put it on. And we hit this one garage sale, and she only had a little bit of stuff out. It didn't seem like, you know, huge. Probably one we wouldn't have stopped at, except for there were several sales right in that same cul-de-sac. And I was so excited. She, the first thing I saw was a table of, like, CDs. And the very first one I looked at was Britney Spears' Baby One More Time. And I was like, oh, wow, you know, I don't even know if I have that CD. I think I do. But if I do, it's scratched up because, like, I've had Britney Spears CDs since they came out. And I don't even want to discuss how many years ago that was. So a lot of them are all scratching. But I opened the case and it was empty. And my heart broke a little bit. But then I started sorting through all of her CDs. And I found several Britney Spears CDs. And let's see, these ones... I do already have, but like I said, oops, sorry about all the noise. These ones I have already, but a lot of them are scratched up. I've had them since I was a lot younger and I have had them in my car. I've had them in my CD cases, like out of the hard case, but like in, you know, the, the visor ones that we used to have in our cars back then. And so they're scratched up. So these, I checked them and they're all in such really good condition. And so those are all revised just to you know, have them that aren't scratched and aren't skipping. But then I also found these Britney Spears CDs that are just different. Oh, I, I don't have, even have enough hands. So, okay. So there's all these. And then there's one more. And some of them say unauthorized. So that means that they're not like from Jive Records. This one, it's Stronger the Remixes. So it's just the Stronger song. It's by Jive. So this is, this is a real CD, you know, put out by the label. And then we have unofficial, this is an interactive CD-ROM and a 100 page color fan book in the spotlight with Britney Spears. And so it just kind of opens up and it opens. I don't know if anything's gonna fall out of it. I haven't even opened this yet. So we got a little book here with a bunch of pictures and a CD-ROM. I'll have to probably pop that. Oh, and another CD as well in here. Uh-oh. So this made me so excited. Oh, that one says an audio CD. So we got all these pictures, some just, you know, oh, it's chapters. So this one is chapter six, the stuff of dreams. So, you know, just read about Britney Spears in that one. And that makes me really excited because again, I'm a big fan. Um, this one is also unofficial. So this says Britney Spears, A Star's Profile. It also comes with a CD and a book that I kind of pulled out and started kind of looking through. So it says it has an auto documentary that has a whole new means of communicating news and views on the artist and her fans. It has original interviews. And so this one, and then the book has, you know, just a bunch of pictures. So this is just, I mean, for a Britney Spears fan, I mean, this is awesome, like such a good find. The other one I found is an interview CD, Britney Spears. The CD contains no music, spoken word only, and it also has a 15 page color booklet, it says. And so another one with a book and some CD, a CD. And then this one is a CD audio vlog. If you hear my dogs are running around crazy, just playing. And so this one also is an autobiography and it looks like a couple songs and it says it has like a poster and stuff in it too i haven't even opened it yet so 
I found all those, which is really exciting. I am um, in a group on Facebook, you know, Britney Spears fan group, and I posted this find, and everyone was like, oh my gosh, that's such a good find. And I was like, yeah, I know, really excited. And they were only 50 cents each. So that was even even a bigger deal, like 50 cents each for all of those. And then lastly, um, we found, or I found this record, this album. My husband has a turntable, a record player, so he actually really likes records. And this one looks like it was just a, a release for her Gimme More song, because that's all that's on it. It's side one, or A and B both have the same things, a main and instrumental and an acapella version of Gimme More. Still sealed in the package. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna open it or not, but I obviously had to grab it. And that was the only album I could find that was Britney Spears. So that's, that's my Britney Spears collection that I picked up. And I am just over the moon and excited about it. And please give me a um, comment below. Tell me if you like Britney Spears. If you don't like Britney Spears, I'm, I'm fine either way. If you like absolutely hate Britney Spears, I, it's, I get it. But I'm just a big, big fan. So now when we were at that same garage sale, my husband found a Reba album. And this is super young Reba. She's gorgeous. And I love her sparkly coat. And he found a Steve Miller Band album. And she had so many albums, I'm actually really surprised he only picked up two, but that's all he grabbed from there. Now as we were out and about, I grabbed a new pair of sunglasses. I just liked them. They were a dollar, I think she charged me for them. And when I was looking at them later on, I think they're Vera Wang. Simply Vera, Vera Wang. So probably like from Kohl's or something like her off brand, but I just liked them. And for a dollar, you know, I lose glasses a lot. I was grabbing from the Dollar Tree, so I might as well grab a pair from a garage sale. We found these Never Opened Cards Against Humanity extra packs. We do have a whole bunch of their Cards Against Humanity packs. So these ones are just new ones that we haven't played with. And so that was a good find. And it was $5, which is a lot cheaper than in stores. And then at that same garage sale where we got Cards Against Humanity, he had a free table. And I grabbed this book about Anna Kendrick. I love her. I think she's hilarious and adorable. So when I have a chance to read, I will read this book. And I'll just obviously add it up here to my, my bookshelf. But... That was a freebie, and I love her. At a different sale, I grabbed this four-pack of Nancy Drew, one through four. I got these for my daughter. I thought maybe she'd really like the Nancy Drew series. I remember liking it a whole lot as a kid, and so I, you know, why not, why not get her started? And then if she decides that she really likes them, then we'll continue picking up the collection for her. I got that mirror from Five Below, and then I found this one. Oh, yikes, glares. Um, at a garage sale. And so it has also a touchscreen with lights that doesn't have batteries in it right now. And so I figured between myself and my daughter, between the two of us, we like mirrors. And so I'll find a spot for it either with her or with me. And so it was $3, even less than if I below. So I figured why not. My husband picked up this Rudolph Monopoly game. I mean, how fun. We have several different Monopoly versions. Unfortunately, this one was missing some pieces, but the price, you know, obviously said that. We'll have to go through and see if all the cards and stuff are in it, but it didn't have all of the game pieces. So if you look here on the back, it says what it should come with. But unfortunately, it was missing some. So that's okay. We'll make it work. I think there was at least four of them or something in there. And it was cute either way. And then last, no, not lastly, I have some really good ones. So I found this one. It's a... Just a really cute picture. It says it came from Hobby Lobby and it says it's just all the things you love. I actually got it kind of for my husband in a weird way, but I thought it would be really cute on our wall in our room as we redecorate. We really like the whole I love you more. And so this just says all like a whole bunch of things about how you love somebody or just what you love. And I love holding your hand is written in gold and it's things like I love birthday cards. I love milkshakes. I love sunglasses. I love sweet tea. I love twinkle lights. I love holidays. I love cupcakes. And a lot of it actually like between him and I are things that we both love. So I thought it would be really cute on our wall in our room as we redecorate. And from the same person, like I said, we do, we argue over who loves each other more. It's one of our little cheesy things that we do. And this one says, love you more. My only worry is this frame is not the color that's going in our bedroom. It's the color that I have down here. So I might try to find a different frame for the love you more. And then it can use this color frame in a different room but it was beautiful this was also from Hobby Lobby and the price I think I got both of them for maybe for ten dollars for both so like five dollars each 
and they both retail at $24.99. No, this one's $24.99. The smaller one was $11.99, but either way, still a steal if they were $5 each. And now, lastly, I have some big items, and if I can't get them all in the shot, I'll take a picture and add it at the end. But as I redecorate the house, I got this. I think you can see it all. So it is a clipboard for whatever you want to clip on it, I guess. So it has all the different clips. It has the hang up things in the back. I thought this could be really good in my office area to hold up notes or just somewhere else to hold up pictures. Uh, we're doing a lot of the wood look and it's the, the style of my house. I'm still really debating on what I call it because it's not modern farmhouse. I don't do a lot of farmhouse, although this does have that farmhouse vibe, but it's like modern industrial kind of thing. But I thought this was beautiful and they said it was five dollars. So for $5, I had to have it. I loved it a lot. So I got that. And then our last really awesome find was, again, something that's gonna be hard to show, but my son really wanted it, Braxton. He has been asking over and over for an instrument and a garage sale had a guitar. So I think that this is what you call an acoustic guitar. It doesn't have anything that you plug into it. He is going to try to find YouTube lessons on how to play a guitar. If you have any know on like YouTubers that do like guitar for beginners, please feel free to um, put their link below in the comments because we haven't started the search yet. We've just been too busy, but we need to tune it. We need to, you know, get it going. And then hopefully he'll get to learn how to play the guitar. We got a harp from my daughter at the last garage sale little go round we went to, and now we got a guitar and this could be, you know, for other people in the family too but that was a steal they had eighty dollars on it which was a really good deal but it was our neighbor just right over yonder and uh we talked to the neighbors and stuff all the time and they actually gave it to us for 60. so we got the guitar the stand a guitar oops, the guitar case and then the case also has like picks and stuff in it so that was all for sixty dollars such a good deal but again if you know of anyone who does beginning guitar lessons on YouTube or anywhere else that we could just find it online really easily, please let me know. As long as we start seeing that he has the initiative to put the work in, we'll probably get someone to teach him how to play it. But we first, we need kind of that initiative to make sure that that's something that he really wants to learn. So, phew, that is my five below and my garage sale haul. Love garage sales. If you love garage sales, drop me a comment below. Let me know what you always look for. If there's something in particular that you try to find at garage sales, or if you just love them and why, or if you hate them and why. I'll also say it was our community garage sale and I did do the garage sale for a day to try to get rid of some of our stuff. And I made about $350 selling our junk. And junk to us is, you know, treasures to someone else. And I just wanted it out of the house. And so I was really excited to, to have a lot of it leave. I'm also though a big, like, I just want to get rid of stuff. So I give a lot of stuff away. So, you know, as little kids were looking at the toys that we had, I would just tell them to take it like Barbies, Hot Wheels, some of the like, just, yeah, just let the little kids take it and they get a big smile on their faces as they walk away with it. So, uh, that's, that's kind of how I roll is just like, Hey, take it, take my stuff. Um, we have some donations now we boxed up what we didn't sell and we're probably going to take a lot of it to Goodwill or ARC or the DAV, which is like the veterans, disabled veterans. So we try to sell and then we just donate because, you know, pass it on. Um, thanks again for being here. Please give my video a like. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. I love having you here. And thank you so, so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.